Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Eve Elise. DIY glass jars upcycle. Three designs, cute and easy, part three. All the materials that I used for this DIY are listed in the description box below. Using a pouncer brush and yellow acrylic paint, I painted the whole jar except the rim. I gave it two coats, letting it dry between each one. Using a yellow marker, I drew the pattern on the whole jar. I just googled giraffe patterns and used them as a guide. It's easy. Just don't let any of the spots touch. Leave a space around each one. Now taking some gold metallic acrylic paint, I filled in all the spots and let that dry. With the same gold paint, I painted the rim and then set that aside to dry. I then added the glitter. I used yellow glitter glue and spread some on each spot and let that dry. Using a black sharpie, I outlined each one. Be careful and make sure the marker is dry while going around the jar or it might smudge. I also added black to the ridges of the rim. Making sure the marker is dry, give the whole jar a coat of Mod Podge. Once that was dry, I decided to add glitter glue to the rim. And of course, I couldn't resist adding more to the spots. This was so simple, yet looks amazing. The camera doesn't show how sparkly it really is, but it looks so pretty. This is my favorite one. And remember, you can use any color combination you like. I made this one for my crafting tools, but you can use it for so many other things, like on your dresser or vanity for your makeup brushes. Just add beads, marbles, or rice to not only keep it from knocking over easily, but it makes the shorter brushes more accessible. Or in the kitchen for your cooking utensils. You can also make beautiful wine bottle decor pieces using the same method but on a wine bottle. Add flowers and now you have a vase. The sky's the limit. These are the three sets I made for myself. The links to the other two videos are in the description box below. Thanks for watching! If this is your first time watching, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.